So hey what's going on everyone, in this video I'm going to be creating a 3D e-commerce app with the help of Flutter. So now you can see the actual 3D model here right. Now I can rotate this and I can even see every minute detail on that watch. So you can actually implement this in your store and you can gradually increase the you know product price and you'll get a lot of sales with the help of this actual uh, 3D view okay. So for that. We need to understand how it works and let's actually create that thing so for that let me open up my terminal and here i'll just create my project all right so now let's head over to pubspec.oaml file and here we're going to be installing some dependencies so the first one is going to be webview flutter and the second one is going to be google fonts and the third one is going to be get now to actually get that url from the you know browser so let me get the packages and then we're going to be adding the assets so for that i'll just scroll down and uh, here we got the assets right so we're going to be actually adding our assets so let me create an assets folder for that so i'll just create that over here which is going to be assets and inside that uh, we're going to be you know placing down our background file so let me open up this in my file explorer all right here i'm going to be pasting my background file over here okay so we're going to be using this in our app and then here we got a lot of things over here that's fine uh, let's head to library folder and inside that we got our main dot dot file right so we're going to be actually customizing this file so first what i'll do is it i'll just add few dependencies over here which is going to be i'll just import my packages and uh, i'll just include my service dot dot so let me select my flutter and inside that we got our services so we're going to be selecting that thing and similarly we're going to be adding our google fonts from the you know google font package let me select that thing all right so now we had imported the material services and google fonts right so now let me customize this page so i'll just uh, remove all these things because we don't need that all right so now i'm going to be overriding and method over here so let me override that thing and i'm going to be building and build context so let me select that and i'll just select the context from that thing and then i'm going to be using my system chrome you now to actually get that url from my you know browser and then i'm going to be setting that uh, system ui overlay style and we can be customizing that thing so here i'll just match the url color with the you know status bar so let's actually match that thing so for that let me create a constant uh, system ui overlay so let me select the style over here and inside this what i'll lose it i'll just set my status bar color and let me select that color over here so here i'll just set that to you know colors dot white and make sure to you know change this uh, case because uh, it's a case sensitive like java so make sure to change that case and now what i'll do is it i'll just set that uh, you know status bar icons so for that let me select my you know status bar icon brightness and let me set that uh, brightness uh, to dark okay so let me select that thing and here let me close this and now we're going to be returning an material app so for that let me return and uh, you know material app and inside that what i'll lose it i'll just set the title to you know flutter something like flutter demo that's fine and then inside that we're going to be setting the debug show check mode banner to false and uh, you know we're going to be setting the theme and let's set that theme to theme data Inside that I'm going to be adding a text theme. So for that, let me select my text theme, and here let me actually use my Google Fonts, and you know let me set that text over here. So you can customize this however you want, but for now I'll just set the you know Sans uh, text theme because uh, you know that's my favorite theme, and uh, here I'll just add a primary color. I mean primary swatch color so for that i'll just select my primary swatch and let me select that color so i'll just select that uh, you know blue color because i like blue color and you can change this as well 
and uh, here we need to enter that as colors because we are selecting that from colors and not the color okay and then finally we need to return that thing so i'll just set the home and uh, you know i'll just call out my uh, product detail like we're going to be creating that thing over here so i'll just create that first so i'll just call out the product detail package okay so we're going to be creating that package shortly so now let me create that package so here i'm going to be creating another dot file which is going to be product detail dot dot and inside this we're going to be importing Cubertino material widgets and web view flutter so we're going to be using all these things in order to actually design your uh, you know product page and then here while loser i'll just create a class over here and inside this while loser i'll just set the product details and i'll set the key value from abstract class and i'll just set the super key value as well and then i'm going to be entering a few colors over here so for that i'm going to be customizing a list of colors over here using the array like we're going to be using the list array not actually add a few different colors over here and here i got the black color and here i got brown blue gray and the amber color so you can customize this and you know it's all in the product details page so you can change this as well but you know if you are uh, going with a different set of versions then feel free to ignore this so it's in demo app right so for that i'll just create a basic version of that and uh, here i'll just add a couple of uh, double sizes arrays in order to actually align all these color values and then here i'm going to be overriding a widget so for that let me override a widget and let me build the context and inside that i'm going to be adding a couple of different child so here i'll just create a child called scaffold and inside this we're going to be customizing our actual app first let me set my background color to white and then i'm going to be creating an app bar just like this and you can customize this as well and here i'm going to be creating an app bar and here i'm going to be adding a body column and inside that i'm going to be adding the children and inside that i'm going to be customizing my actual page so i'll just add the text over here and i'll just set that rating with the help of this uh, you know text and i'll just you know customize that thing with the help of this row and then now and then right below this row i'm going to be creating a constant called spacer in order to actually make a gap in between the row and the you know colors so right below this spacer i'm going to be creating all that colors over here so for that i'm going to be adding another row and i'll just insert all those colors and i'll just customize that thing you know here you can find all that thing and right below this row i'm going to be adding an actual spacer because we need to leave a gap in between this you know colors and the navigation bar right so for that i'm going to be creating another spacer over here and then finally we're going to be adding a uh, bottom navigation bar so for that i just create a bottom navigation bar over here and now you can see that thing right like we got the bottom navigation bar and here at you know set that price and uh, you know text over here and you can customize this as well so now the main thing is we need to add the actual uh, you know 3d model right yeah but before that uh, here i got an error let me fix that really quick and yeah now let's uh, scroll this up and here uh, we got the colors and uh, above that we got this you know text right you know it's really difficult to create an actual 3d model with the help of flutter so for that what i'm going to do is it i'll just use this actual 3d model website which i had made using 3js and if you want to learn how to create this website then you should definitely enroll in the professional 3js course where you can learn more about this 3js and you know you can create an actual uh, 3d website just like this and we're going to be actually embedding this site inside our actual app so for that i'm going to be using this url so i'm going to be copying out this url and we're going to be using that thing so now what i'll do is it, i'll just create a constant sized box and i'll just set that high to something like 360 and width to double infinity because we need to actually calculate the width depending on the device right so i'll just calculate that with the help of this double infinity and here i'll just call my web view and here i'll just set that debugging enabled to false and i'll just add the background color and i'll just set that to transparent and here we're going to be initializing that url with the help of this url which we had seen that right 
so we're going to be pasting that over here you know the website is made using javascript so without javascript the website won't work so for that i'll just set that to unrestricted and we are ready to go but before that we got an error in the main.dot file which is we got an error in the product details so how do you actually fix that thing it's pretty simple just import the you know product details dot dot and here you need to import this file over here you not actually do that let me select my actual package which is you know e-commerce right so let me select that package and here i'm going to be selecting that product details dot dot here i just failed to add that title okay that's fine so you can find this actual page source code in uh, scrapped projects which is shop.codal.com slash you know scrapped projects and right here you can find the watch portfolio and you can download this source code for free if you have enrolled in our professional teachers course then you can download this for free okay and yeah let's run this app so in order to actually run this app so you need to open up your terminal and just enter flutter run and make sure to connect your device because we need an actual debugging device right without that we can't actually run this app so connect your device and run this app and feel free to comment down below and with that said i'll catch you guys in the next video peace